flagged. First red flag was getting the money the next day without a contract signed, without him talking on the phone with me. Um, we hadn't even texted at that point. He just sent it. A warning tonight from a wedding photographer who says a would-be groom tried to dupe her out of more than $1,000. Uh, Katie Kuhn tells Fox 5 the man sent her more than $3,000 trying to pull off the scam. Uh, she spoke to Fox 5's Portia Bruner tonight, hoping to get the word out to other photographers. Portia's live for us outside Milton Police Headquarters with these details. Portia? Yeah, this is the police department where Katie Kuhn reported her encounter, her online encounter with this man uh, just a few days ago. She says, in fact, the man was texting her while she was here reporting it to police. Professional wedding photographer Katie Kuhn takes a lot of pride in capturing that special moment between a bride and a groom. But she says a con artist posing as a would-be groom captured her attention last week. Or he wasn't filling out the contract. He said he was having issues. And then he started getting really angry with me about um, signing the contract. These I told, were phone conversations. These were text messages. Okay. I, Have you ever had a phone conversation? I tried to call him and he wouldn't pick up the phone. Kuhn says the man sent her this check for $3,200 after only one email conversation. Then asked for a partial refund of $1,300 just a couple of days later. So what he said was, you know what, I've decided to cancel the birthday, um, the expenses are becoming too much, and can you send me that money back? And I said, well, I can give it to you at the wedding or you can meet me in person. Because at this point, I knew something wasn't right. The North Fulton photographer reported her concerns to Milton police last Wednesday. She says they did not take a report since she never cashed the check and no crime was committed. But she still wants other wedding photographers and vendors to step back and take a good look at the bigger picture when a potential customer looks suspicious. It's not believing absolutely everything that somebody says over the internet or in your email. It's talking to people on the phone, trying to have an actual conversation with somebody to find out if they are genuine, if they are real, and just use your judgment. Now, Katie tells me she knows if she had deposited that $3,200 check, it surely would have bounced if she had sent the $1,300 and she would have been even a bigger buy. And she's just hoping a lot of people who are hearing from this man, and she says a lot of folks reached out to her to say they did when she posted on social media. She says she just doesn't want anyone to get caught in this kind of trap. Reporting live at Milton Police Headquarters in North Fulton County, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. All right. Thank you, Portia.